knock at the door, door shall be open. Ask, you shall be given. Seek, you will find. We all live like a big family. All the elderly people, the small children, the monks, nuns, everybody come together. We also wanted to help the monks and nuns in Ladakh to get a better education. Traditionally, the monks and nuns get only the traditional monastic education. It's important that they also get a good general education. I myself used to travel to the remote villages to select some most deserving children from the poor families to be educated in our school. But now our school hostel is so popular that the parents or somebody from the remote villages themselves will bring here. It's quite easy for us to select who is uh, most deserving. They are feeling very nice uh, to go to their children's school because their father never allowed them to go to school because of the uh, taking care of this, their sheep and goat. There are still nomad people in the eastern part of Ladakh who don't have permanent house. They move from place to place with the kettles and the winter is so cold. So I realized how difficult life they have. And in Ladakh, there were no such facilities for elderly people. So I decided to start the home for the elderly people where this kind of elderly people who are having hard life could come and spend the last part of their life very comfortably, peacefully.
I was born and brought up in a very pious traditional Buddhist family in my village called Timisgam. Then at the age of 21, when I was serving in the Indian Army, I realized that the life of a soldier is no longer for me and the life of a monk is for me. I always had a strong question about life. I was always looking for something, not knowing very clearly what I'm searching, what for I'm looking. What is the best art of living in this world? When I began to study the teachings of Buddha, I realized that I owe something to my people. I need to do something. Thank you.